Ooh, let's go to Chicago. <laughs> All right, my Uber's here. I'm on my way to the airport. Looks like there's a lot of people in line to get bagels this morning. I made it through security. Everything's good. And I'm about ready to check in for my flight here. I fly standby, so hopefully I get on. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Alright, here's something I learned from the show chart. Let's go outside of the park. There's no more seats together at this time. Goodbye, San Diego. Hello, Chicago. Hey everyone, this is Andrew. We have the same glasses. He just took them off so <laughs> that we don't. That's why I took them off. <laughs> That's why he took them off so that you guys wouldn't know. But well, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Plus, I need to drive and see the car world. Yep. So anyway, in Chicago, this is Andrew. This is his new car. Hi, is, Tyler's vlog. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we can go get lunch. So we have come to Chinatown to grab some lunch. What are we having? We're going to the Joy Yi noodle shop. It's uh, Pan-Asian. It's got all sorts of noodle dishes, curries, uh, pretty much any Asian dish you could ever want, including a fantastic array of boba teas. Sounds delicious. We are at Joy Yi Noodle. So that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Just one noodle. Not Joy, not Joy Yi Noodles. It's just one noodle. Yes, just one. Uh, show them around. Look, If you ever find yourself in Chicago, this is definitely worth the stop. Great food here. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, so goodbye. So that looks like our food just showed up. This is our appetizer, Szechuan wonton. Looks pretty delicious. We also got our drinks. Are you ready to try this? Let's do this. As far as wontons go, they're a little cumbersome. All right. But delicious. Sweet. I'm gonna try some as well. And a little spicy. A little spicy or a lot spicy? Yes. They are hard to grab with chopsticks. That's why I said cumbersome. My food looks amazing. It's like holy, holy crap, that's awesome. His looks okay. But it tastes fantastic. So, we have made it to Millennium Park. I'm sure you've seen this in many pictures and videos. There's the bean. There's Andrew. He goes by Drew most of the time, but I call him Andrew. So, there's that. Yeah, let's go look at the beans. Beans are cool. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> oh. oh, hilarious. Yeah. You're gonna have to get used to really corny jokes like that because of me and because of him. But mostly you. But mostly me. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Cool, we get a little bit of video here, but my battery is pretty much dead. I'm gonna have to switch it out. I have more batteries in the car. We'll pass by again. So it is really loud underneath this train here, but this is pretty cool downtown. I don't know, I just think Chicago is one of the coolest downtowns I've been to. This is a Picasso statue. That's all we know about it. Yes, it's named because of Picasso. And Picasso the something. That he did stuff. Yes. I'll probably show the statue on the camera. Oh, 
So yeah. That's in the Richard awesome. Daly Center, which is kind of cool. This plaza hosts a lot of fantastic events, uh, farmers markets, shows, and at Christmas time, it's turned into a rustic German traditional Christmas village. We get all sorts of wonderful German and Polish foods and learn about traditions and whatnot. It's kind of cool because everywhere I go, I have a tour guide because he goes everywhere with his job. And uh, Which, by the way, is flight knows. attendant. Yes, Which flight attendant. Might be worth mentioning. Yes. Um, so he goes a lot of places and is my tour guide all the time, which is pretty awesome. Because wherever I go, I mean, he's usually there and... It's actually called stalking at one point. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool because I always have a tour guide. <laughs> he lost his contact. I got it back! Yay! <laughs> so, this is some sort of river or something. This is the Chicago River. So here's a cool place because you can see a lot of the fun architecture that is Chicago, including my favorite, the green building with the golden spire is the Carbide and Carbon Building, which hosts the Hard Rock Hotel. And this Wyndham Hotel to the left of it was Batman's penthouse suite in the second Batman after the Wayne Mansion uh, was set on fire by Ra's al Ghul. Up top is where once her face was thrown off the building, Rachel. And while that was the scene, everything else inside was filmed in the lobby. And that's fun. Huh. That's exciting. Isn't it though? It's our case. Hey look, it's us. Whoa. Holy crap. I'm not a handsome man. <laughs> oh. So this has happened. Wow, that is cold. Isn't that cold? I yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that. So, this is all water. There's well, water, so. water coming off of these things. It's pretty cool. There was faces just a moment ago. I promise, I'm not making that up. Are you seeing faces again? <laughs> <laughs> there was faces on these walls. So these big black bricks have projectors behind them, and they do present faces of the students who helped design this installation. And Fun fact about this, George Lucas' wife is from Chicago and he lives here now. Um, but donated the cameras used to make the first Star Wars Episode 4 to the art school, which were used to film the faces and project onto the glass bricks. In just a moment, they should come back up. What do you do? I'm really glad you said Episode 4, because if you said Episode 1, I'd say we're leaving. I know, right? Trust me, I know. <laughs> At last. Another soul to consume. This the soul of a young man. Clearly lost in his ways. He's speaking, but nobody's listening. Huh? But she's smiling too over there. I will consume your soul. You will be mine. I smile because you are my next victim. Starting to look a little creepy, actually. Yes, yes. Say what you will about me, but know that you are mine. <laughs> he doesn't even know we're doing this. Sorry, viewers. Anyway, so eventually they're supposed to spit at you. This is actually really nice. It's been a warm day. I know. It's so good. Which I didn't expect coming to Chicago. Warm some skyline in here. Nice. Stay still. Sorry. Got my watch. So all the cool kids are doing cartwheels in the water and Tyler wants to win your subscriptions. So here we have Tyler doing a cartwheel in shallow water without his wooden sunglasses. Tyler watch out for the toddler. Or cartwheel over the toddler. Yeah that was really bad. What did you expect? You're in water. Well, <laughs> your face your is wet. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, that hurts. That was a much better cartwheel than I did. Come on. Hey guys, a uh, little bit of a late start this morning. It's 11.30. 11.30 and uh, we're still five minutes away from where we're heading to breakfast. I think it's going to be lunch. It's going to be brunch maybe? Probably lunch. Okay. 
It can, it can be brunch, I guess. I'm still getting pancakes. Fair enough. So, um, today's day two Chicago. Whoop whoop! Hey, you ever really into a song and then someone just turns off the car and makes the song stop halfway through it? What a hole I don't feel bad. <laughs> so we're checking out this record store. We uh, just finished breakfast slash lunch. Brunch. Brunch. It was on the menu. said brunch. I guess I can call it brunch. And uh, it was pretty good. This is, what was the name of the place? Longman and Eagle. I would say I thought the food was fantastic. Maybe not as much as it's hyped up to be. It was um, very hipster. Very, very hipster. Lots of hipster happening there, yeah. So, we're at this record store. Um, I'm getting pretty, Batman trading cards. Pretty cool stuff, Batman trading cards. Um, in the back, there seems to be like a secret arcade that you have to buy stuff in order to go to. So, we're gonna check that out. Yeah. Alright, so we just bought some Batman cards and now we're gonna go through the secret door. Exclusive access. Yes. Apparently, there's nobody checking for the exclusive access. This is actually a really cool little arcade. It's like totally old school. Little Miss Pac-Man. I wish we had better lighting in here, but Pac-Man. Atari Star Wars. Nice. Sweet stuff in here. Joust. We have to joust each other. No, no, no. Go Simpsons. I beat that game all the way through. It's free. Is everything in here free? I don't know. Sweet. Alright, I'm afraid I've got to go because I'm in an arcade. So this arcade is especially awesome right after reading uh, the book Player One Ready. Great book. Very enjoyable, but yeah. I just finished that book like two days ago and now I'm in an old school arcade. It's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. The place is actually really, really cool. The arcade and the old school record shop and yeah, we bought some old school cards and whatnot. So if you ever find yourself in Chicago, Logan Hardware up in Logan Square. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, good stuff. Especially if you happen to collect vinyl. They have everything there too. Yeah, go check it out. We're on our way to the concert. Hey, so, concert! Uh, pretty excited. We're gonna see Hank Green and Wheezy Waiter both perform. Hopefully, we're running a little bit late. So, uh, hopefully, we get there on time to see both of them. Um, but I will at least get the chance to meet Craig, who is Wheezy Waiter. So. Yay! About to head into the concert. Andrew's parking the car. We'll be uh, in the show. I'm excited. Woo -hoo! Hey guys, um, today was a blast. We went around and did all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, ran a few errands for Andrew and whatnot. And uh, then we went to this awesome concert. Uh, it was a blast. Um, first Harry and the Potters, they were actually 
lot of fun, had a lot of energy, great show. Then after that we, uh, uh, Craig Benson, uh, Wheezy Waiter, um, his band, uh, Driftless Pony Club, um, they came on, they did, it was, they were awesome, they have amazing stage presence, uh, just so much fun. And uh, then Hank went on with his band, uh, Hank Green and Perfect Strangers. Um, so much energy. Uh, that guy just, he knows how to perform. He knows how to be in front of an audience. He's just, he has perfected that skill. Uh, but during uh, Hank's performance, well, I think it was actually between the two performances, I was staying there. Uh, I had my camera, I had filmed some. Uh, I'll show a bit of footage in this video, I'm sure. Um, but during this performance, um, I looked down and I, or right before this performance, I looked down and I'm like, where's my camera? Crap, where is my camera? And I start searching pretty, pretty uh, seriously and, you know, we're looking around. Andrew even put up a little sign that says, lost camera, if found, please call. And he put his phone number on there, hung up a sign. Um, we're looking everywhere and, you know, security and everything, nobody had turned it in. I honestly thought I had lost my camera, a brand new camera. I mean, you've seen how many videos I posted. I've had this camera less than a week. Less than a week I have owned this camera. So I was so scared and frustrated that 250 bucks just down the drain, gone. Uh, I had kind of given up hope of finding it. I figured somebody stole it because how would I lose my camera? I don't even know how, how it disappeared. Um, so I, I, I said a few silent prayers in my head. I'm the religious type, I believe in that. If you don't, cool, that's your thing. Uh, but said some silent prayers. Uh, then uh, actually has a pretty cool experience right in the middle of all this where um, Craig Benson, Lisa Waiter, was kind of standing nearby and went and had great conversation with him. I'll put a little uh, clip of that. There's no good audio because it was way too loud to, to hear um, from the camera and I didn't have my camera. Like I said, we were recording it on my iPhone. Oh, by the way, that painting, that's, uh, Monica painted that for me. It took her like half an hour to paint this like awesome little tree on the back of my film case. So, great painter, like I said. Anyway, I got to talk to, I had a great conversation with him. I asked him some questions. I asked him, you know, how to improve my web, or how to improve my, my YouTube channel, how to, you know, what advice he might have for me. And, you know, he, he gave me some great advice and things that I'll be putting into effect a bit. And, you know, just very helpful, very kind person. He's actually one of my heroes. Um, I just watched his videos and just seen, I don't know, just the way he's, you know, gone and made his career out of just making videos like this. It's something I would love to be able to do someday is make YouTube make me a living. That would, that would be like a dream come true. But regardless of all of that, um, after I talked to him, shook his hand, he was very nice, very pleasant person to me. Um, went over and enjoyed the rest of the show or tried to, um, tried to not worry about my camera. And, have a little faith that it would come back to me. And, you know, I honestly feel like if this were any other concert and someone found my camera, they would have a new camera. Uh, YouTubers are some of the best people. Uh, and, you know, it is YouTube fans that were at this concert. I mean, Weezy Waiter, Pink Green. It was YouTube fans at this concert. Um, so, the camera at the end of the show that turned into security and uh, we were able to find it. I'm so grateful for Andrew for he put a lot of work into talking to a lot of people I and mean, while I was searching he was off elsewhere searching and talking you know talking to security asking people at different tables just kind of asking people he was really helpful uh, through this whole process and, you know while I'm looking on the ground he's a little little I, I thought I must have dropped it it must be on the ground somewhere his first thought was Somebody must have snapped it, so he's looking at people's hands, seeing if people have my camera, which, I don't know. Um, but 
I have so much faith in humanity at this point, you know, if you just find a brand new $250 camera and turn it in. Uh, whoever found it, I know you probably won't see this video, but if you do, thank you so much for turning it in. Also, um, I, I'm just, I'm grateful. Um, I, I feel like my prayers were answered. Uh, like I said, if you don't believe, no worry. I have my faith, you have yours. We're good. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there that uh, it was just a fun day. Then we came back to to Andrew's apartment. That's where we are now. I'll show you around a little bit without showing too much of the mess that I've made here. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, then we watched some uh, Daredevil. Awesome show. Uh, I'm only in like the fourth episode, but it's so far great. I'm a big fan of the Marvel Universe, uh, but who isn't a big fan of the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe? Um, anyways, fun night, good times. I had some great meals today. I feel like I didn't get very much footage in today because we were running around so much, ran a lot of errands and whatnot. It was like a busy day where I feel like... Anyways, it was, it was fun. It was a blast. Also, pretty excited about this. Um, we bought these different playing cards and actually gave these ones just for free, so I'm going to do an opening of it in front of you guys. Okay, that's kind of awesome. It's, it's like it's a uh, puzzle almost, but not all the pieces, but I know one piece is for Frogger. Oh, and there's stickers. These aren't... Oh. It's Frogger stickers. What's, what's this one? Oh, more Frogger stickers. <laughs> and... Uh, Zaxxon Star stickers. Uh, Scratch-offs. because this is all copyright 1983, but it's got a scratch-off game. Three of them. And, lucky me, I've got 31-year-old gum. <laughs> okay, that's not, that's not becoming chewy. <laughs> It's not, it's not working. Oh. It doesn't even taste like gum. Oh my gosh. It's very, very... 31 year old gum? Not good. Not good at all. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put you down right there. Crunchiest gum I have ever tasted. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Have a good night. Hey guys, um, yeah, I'm back at the airport again. Um, heading back to San Diego, which is pretty exciting. Um, hopefully I get on my flight this time. It's looking a little more iffy whether or not I will make it, so fingers crossed. Uh, I know by the time you get this, it will have already happened, but uh, fingers crossed for me anyway. Um, yeah. It's uh, been a fun trip. It's been a blast. I've had a good time. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a slower day, you know. I think I'm gonna keep uh, Sundays to myself. That'll be my my day to myself and whatnot. Um, unless I do something really cool that I think needs to be filmed. But yeah, uh, good times. All right, see you guys uh, in San Diego. Looks like I barely made it on. Slipped in as the last person on the plane. Awesome. Beautiful. Hey guys, just 
got back from Chicago landed in beautiful sunny San Diego. It is gorgeous here today. I mean, look around. So, I decided instead of getting an Uber or finding another ride, I'm just gonna walk home. I don't live too far from the airport, so yeah, maybe a mile or two. So, uh, thank you very much for taking this wonderful trip to Chicago with me. It has been a blast, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.